Hi, hi everybody. It's Trisha Lee Bannock here in uh, Alberta, Canada, and I'm with uh, Janie Theriel and Susan Stuck, and this is our first, uh, one of our first assignments for the Superwomen Elite Boot Camp. It's the uh, Well-Formed Outcome, and Janie is going to start uh, by guiding me through this because I'm actually a uh, boot camp virgin. I haven't done this before. <laughs> so Janie is our expert that has been through all the boot camps, correct Janie? Uh, well, I did the first one and I started uh, the second one, but I, I was not uh, that active on the second one. Yeah, And that's now the, the third one. So yeah, I did the first one uh, really well uh, and did all the assignment and stuff. So I, I will uh, guide you through your welcome outcome today. Uh, and I'm also from Canada. I'm from South Shore of Montreal, actually. So uh, let's begin. <laughs> so Trisha Lee, uh, what is uh, what is it that you want to get out of this uh, boot camp? Out of this Superwoman boot camp? Okay. Well, I don't know if this is cheating, but I kind of made notes. So because <laughs> uh, of course the questions are posted, but um, I want to learn how to do um, outsourcing because I've I've been getting to know what my weaknesses really are and so I realize I need to network with more people and find people that can uh, help me where I'm weak and so that's my main intention uh, but brought more on a broader um, sense is I want these connections that will allow me to fill my, my mission and it's a big one it's for clean air clean water and to allow biological immortality for plants animals and humans and I know it's not, it, I know it's possible, and I know that the superwomen can help me. And I, I don't know all the hows, um, but the why is super super clear. Um, like clean air and water. If we had all clean and air and water, it would be so much easier to be healthier, and then possibly um, people could be immortal. And um, like honestly, people say, "Oh, why would you want to live forever?" But if you really think about it, who doesn't want to live forever? Who doesn't want their pet to live forever? Their child, their parents, and um, I, I. What I do a lot is to um, imagine my body, like when I meditate, like 500 years from now, as healthy and strong as it as it is today. And I like there's lots of examples if you look around at people that it's like the reverse aging. Like I don't know if you like if you look at like Ellen DeGeneres and she looks way more beautiful and younger now than she did twenty years ago. And then uh like a lady like Christy Brinkley, I think she just turned sixty this year, and it's like, oh my gosh, this woman <laughs> is getting younger. So when I see people like that, it's like, okay, maybe this immortality idea isn't so crazy. And so, yeah, that's the, my, like, huge vision. Awesome. So, like, what do you say would be your first goal that you want to get out of the superwoman? Is it outsourcing, network, networking more, or uh, going to uh, have your strong body and, and do all the stuff that need to be done? Uh, well, I want it all, but um, the, mo the most important thing, I think, is connecting with people that potentially I could outsource some stuff to because I know that there's so many talented and beautiful ladies that are participating in the boot camp and I think that this process will help us really to um, hone in on where our strengths are and then it will be possible to um, choose people that can help me in my mission so yeah it's mainly the connection okay so when you will achieve all those connection that you want to achieve uh, while it, what would it mean to you to have all those connections? Uh, well, it'll, it'll be super helpful. And I think with the big goals that I've put out there, um, the big thing is, is that even if we didn't achieve it, um, things are bound to get better just by trying. By trying to clean all the air and clean all the water, you're going to clean some of it. And so what I put for notes is that, yeah, even if it's not achieved, it's a step in the right direction. Even if we don't live forever, most people would live longer if they were trying to live forever. <laughs> okay. So 
when uh, you would achieve to have like better water around us and uh, helping people to live uh, uh, older and uh, more healthy, what would it mean for you? Um, just to see like a utopia where there's like so much less war and no violence and like achieving harmony with each other. Um, it, just by trying to have that kind of a, a, a planet will uh, make it a little bit better, at least if you're like striving for these things. And I think um, the connections, like I think women play a vital ro role in that as life givers and mothers. Um, we want to see more life around us uh, because we're able to create it through our bodies and so uh, making the connections here will mean so much just to getting that much closer to influencing especially the men to stop all of this war and violence and, and things that happen in the world. Okay, and when you would achieve um, to have like a, a better influencing on on human being and have that uh, less war and more harmony in the world, what would it mean to you, to yourself? Okay, well, what I what I wrote here is that it uh, would prove to myself and hopefully other people that my belief that anything and and not just anything, but anything and everything is possible. And so um, if you believe that anything and everything is possible, it allows you to step into your power and take control of your life and be able to make it whatever it is that you want. Because like I heard on this... Um, it was actually one of the empower leaders on one of their trainings. They're like, you can have anything, but maybe you can't have everything. And I was like, well, that's kind of low because who? What's the point of having anything if you can't have everything? Like, if you have all this money in the bank. Oh, you froze. We're gonna wait a little minute. Part two for yeah. for her to come back probably a connection problem. Uh oh. <laughs> Lee, where are you? <laughs> come back. Okay, doesn't seem to come back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we start to uh, make her own or do we wait a little more? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. The people freeze up all the time on hangouts, but they always seem to come back. <laughs> I just uh, sent her a, a chat mm -hmm. on Facebook. Maybe she didn't saw that. She was out. Well, now she's really out, so maybe she's going to start back. And she's the one that start the hangout, so hang on a little with us, guys. <laughs> she's probably going to come back. Yeah. So I'm not sure if we continue, if it's going to stop because she was the oster. Oh, I see you. You messaged her on Facebook. Okay. Because I thought she had said something on Facebook. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even see her picture anymore. No. Yeah, she probably uh, jumped out and she will come back. Do you want me to start yours or what do we do? Uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it's a flow thing, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot. Oh, Trisha Lee, uh, she came back, I think. I just saw a little blue note there. A little blip. <laughs> She's bleeping in and out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, is, she is gone. I didn't, huh. Well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it would be great if we had the three of us on for the 
to post it to you know the She's group. There. there she is. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey. that's done. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> So do you want me to um, to ask you uh, the question with the thing that you just uh, told me, so we could uh, get back up on your on your Wolfram outcome? Yeah, there, yeah the, just the last question. I think I was pretty much done. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would say like when you achieve that, you can control your life and have almost everything in it. That you could step into your power, and anything is possible for you. What will it mean for you to have all that? Uh, <laughs> it would mean that um, I don't know. It's a little weird because where my mind goes to is that it wouldn't really mean anything because I'm already there. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm just in my mind. I know what what's what what I've seen and go on in people's lives and it's um, it's just a matter of du duplicating that and spreading it so I think going back to the, the the main intention of getting connections with more women is just um, being able to pass that uh, belief in possibilities on to more people and so everybody else can be there too where it's just all good and like it's it's a balance but at the same time it's your reaction to any situation that creates um, the world around you so you always have that power and definitely I've been most of my life guilty of looking at things um, in a pessimistic way and being unhappy for no good reason like <laughs> it's just been uh, and when I now when I see other people doing that, I just want to like pour the love into them and show them that hey, don't do what I did. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Let's have fun, everybody. And so many people are like, no, no, things have certain things have to be serious. These are serious situations and stuff like that. And like your bills aren't paid, lady. Your rent is late. This is a serious situation. I'm just laughing because <laughs> and like. To most people that is, but I understand that it's temporary. So I just, um, even now sometimes though I get drug into other people's negativity, but at the same time um, I know that making new connections with people that don't drag you down will mm -hmm. just make me that much more powerful and make my mission move that much quicker. And when would you achieve your mission? What would it mean for you? Not for the others around you, but for you. Uh, just that I wouldn't struggle. So what it would mean for me is that I would not struggle so much to keep my vibration at a high frequency because the people around me wouldn't be dragging me down anymore. Because <laughs> it is like I've I've I I'm uh, I've been doing this like I haven't stepped into my leadership role mm -hmm. yet, but I've been doing this stuff for over a year. And I listen to the inner circle like four hours a day, and that stuff has completely changed my life so that I am just this um, positive force. However, like when you think of someone falling off a cliff and you're trying to help them up, it's so much easier for them to start swinging around and pull you off the cliff with them than it is for you. Like you're sweating pulling them up, whereas they could just start swinging around and kicking just a tiny bit and you go down with them so <laughs> okay so let me ask you an, a, a last one when you achieve that people would not drown you down anymore and you have like all that positive force in you what would it mean for you <laughs> uh, then it would mean that I would stay at that high vibration all the time like I intend to so I would actually achieve my intention of staying at a high energy happy vibration which right now I don't but that that's what I would get from it awesome <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> so uh, I guess this is it 
because uh, we can go on and on uh, and see like if that positive energy uh, are in you, what would it mean for you and go uh, deeper in it but I think like you're you're staying there for now so maybe you will have to take that assignment uh, by yourself alone maybe and really go deeper because I'm sure there's a deeper side of you in that because normally they said that our well-form outcome could uh, make us cry if we go deep enough and that's where we find our why so um, I, I think oh, we yeah. did it my, like my six why times makes me cry a lot. <laughs> awesome <laughs> so oh uh, Trish in Charlotte I was like <laughs> <laughs> so Trisha Lee, do you want to do um, Susan one? Do you want to? Uh, yeah, I can uh, go through it with you. Are you ready, Susan? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I brought up the questions. I'm just looking at them because uh, I know oh. I would forget. So, mm -hmm. and then the last question. I'm Was sorry, that? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to uh, interrupt you because uh, we missed the last one that said that, what happened if you quit? Sorry, I missed that one. So, Trisha, yeah, maybe you should that, answer that one before made, moving on. Yeah, I'll just go to it really quickly because in my notes I just put everybody dies. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, with the, with the crazy out there intention of immortality, yeah, that's what happens if you quit. So we can continue because I kind of kind of hard right. for me to go deep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. On. Okay, so Susan, what is it that you want to get from the Superwomen Boot Camp 3.0? Um, what I hope to get out of the Superwomen 3.0 is just a lot of the um, motivational um, aspects. Other women, um, like I said earlier, I am a bit of an introvert, and it's hard for me to get myself out there and um, do the YouTube videos and do the the hangouts. I mean, this, you know, and all that, and and um, uh, so just people motivating me and then me motivating them in return, um, and just pumping us up to be the best that we can be and to take charge and initiative to get things done. Um, so that's kind of what I'm hoping to get out of it. Uh, the um, Super Women Boot Camp, um, that and just um, just empowering people up. Uh, I need that as well. I need a quick. Sometimes I need a swift kick in the butt. You know, <laughs> I am you know busy mom, single, four kids, and um, so I get distracted. So I just need to get that boot. It says you got to do this. You know, just to even be here on the hangout this morning was a little challenging because you know we were up late last night, and so just but here I'm here, and so just to, um, like I said, motivate, empower, um, and also uh, me doing that to other women as well. Cause I, I am, um, I do uh, public speaking for uh, abused women and children, and I help them journal as a method for um, healing. So I'm, I'm really good about that kind of thing, about writing and all that kind of stuff. But the speaking, um, I do the public speaking as an introvert, but it's not easy. <laughs> I just, when I'm done, I'm, just, I'm done. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> but um, so that's what I'm hoping to get out of the Superwoman Boot Camp. This is my okay. first one, so bear with me if I'm a little rusty, but uh, with practice, you get better, right? <laughs> yeah, me too, for sure. And I'm I'm a total tech tech like I do not get the tech stuff. So I'm I'm glad I got to set up the hangout and it's actually working because I need <laughs> practice with that stuff. So right. uh, when you achieve that motivational kick in the butt, when you get that from the superwomen in this boot camp from us, me and Janie, your accountability partners, when you get that boot and that motivation, what will that mean for you? That will mean that I am going to get her done um, and just, you know, get out of my comfort zone um, and just do it. Because if I can get out of my comfort zone and do it, then that will be a motivation for other people who have problems getting in front of the camera and doing it as well or speaking or whatever. 
that will help them, empower them to be able to, to get out of their comfort zone and do it too. And so it'll be me helping them, them helping me. So it's kind of, you know, me helping them to, like I said, get out of the comfort zone. Okay, so when you get out of your comfort zone, because the super women uh, give you the boots that you need to uh, motivate you to get out of your comfort zone, what will that do for you? That will um, well uh, give me more uh, give me more um, I'm looking for uh, confidence um, in you know building my confidence and helping me the more the more I do the videos the more I get myself out there the more confidence I think I will get um, in doing it to just you know practice based perfect so well not necessarily perfect but you know practice 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 helps you get better each time you do it you get better and better and better so that for me will just build my confidence and just help me feel better about myself just getting out there um, part of the problem I had was I'm not real um, confident in the way I look so all the um, the eating healthy and the posting of the eating healthy and the weight and all that weight loss not or the, the um, you know, the workout, sweating workout, thank you. Um, that, you know, I posted on that this morning, you know, and, and I was like, okay, I don't want to do this, but I have to do this. And so it motivated me to do that, and I thought, okay, there's nothing wrong with this. I can do this. I can do this. And I did it. <laughs> awesome. So when you get that, that boot from the superwomen and that motivation, and we're all telling you how beautiful you are, and you start believing how beautiful you are. I know there's all kinds of other people in your life that see you as beautiful. And if you don't see yourself that way, once the superwomen put that into you, how beautiful you really and truly are, and we motivate you to know that and to believe that, what will that do for you, Susan? That will help me to believe it. Um, to just one of the things that one of my roommates in Charlotte also told me was, you know, um, get in front of a mirror and you know speak confidently and tell, you, tell yourself you're beautiful and, and build yourself up. So I've been doing that, and it's amazing how how it works. It really, really works. So um, that you know, if you're told you know you're beautiful and, and all that, and then you you know, like I said, get in front of the mirror and do it to yourself, you tend to believe it. And all that negative and negativity goes away. Okay, so when you are looking in the mirror, telling yourself how beautiful you are and believing it, and um, oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but and uh, you finally are believe, believing it and feeling it, and you you're confident. And you have that smile on your face. And you go out into the world because the superwomen have motivated you to believe that you're beautiful and that you're getting things done, what will that do for you? That will help me to be able to go out and talk to people in public um, because I won't be so sh you know, in shy about you know, uh, introducing myself to people and um, just talking to them because I'll have this confidence in me that I can actually go up to the, you know, a stranger in the street who um, might, she might even just look like she needs a helping hand or a friend or something like that, and then I will be able to help that person as an individual to um, you know, uh, just pick her up or her him up, whatever. And and because I have that confidence and that, you know, I feel good about myself, that will hopefully, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, charge them. Um, you know, the, the energy from me to them and help them, you know, become as well. So when you're motivated and you're helping other people to um, feel uh, that energy that you're giving off, what will that do for you? That will just help me feel really, really good. I'll just, you know, that's walking down the street with a smile on my face and smiling at the stranger that's coming towards my way. It just gives you a really good feeling. Um, years ago, I used to walk around the corporate offices with my head hung low because I was very self, um, had a self esteem issue. And one lady said to me, she says, Susan, if you hold your head high, 
people will think you're confident and they will know that you're confident so you need to start walking with your head held high so and I and that was back in the 1980s I'm kind of aging myself here um, and I will and I still remember that to this day that you know stop walking with your head down down low walk with your head high and confident smile at the stranger in the street and then they will know that you're a confident person as well and um, so that was a really uh, eye-opener for me awesome yeah that's a that's a great thing plus when your head's held high you can see all the other beautiful people <laughs> and then and when they see your smile you can see them smile back so yeah exactly. definitely I was exactly. definitely a person that learn from that okay so once you're out there with your head held high feeling beautiful and confident uh, because the superwomen have given you a kick in the butt and motivated you to get your work done what will that do for you Susan that will just make me an awesome superwoman <laughs> um, and just lift me up empower me um, you know I it will just help me to get a better outlook on life and to think positive um, I, I happen to be a bit of a, a um, uh, optimistic person actually I always weigh two sides of the coin I think there's you know I don't know I, I'm just that kind of person and so I um, I'm, I'm always optimistic. I always think there's a bright side to every, you know, the, there's a light at the end of the tunnel type of person, you know, glass is half full or you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so I, I have a positive outlook on life, you might say, and so that was what that would do for me. Awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> before I ask the last, oh, Janie dropped out. She'll be back. But before I ask you the last question, I just want to. Uh, ask you this little side question but why is it that you said in your last little thing there that you will be a superwoman you are an amazing single mother of four oh my gosh I get tired just thinking about all that laundry and all those, oh my goodness so you're a single mother why is it that you don't already say I am a superwoman because you said you will be a superwoman because when I look at you Susan I see a superwoman already Hmm. Thank you. You know, I I didn't even realize I'd said it that way. I um, I do believe I'm a superwoman. I like I said, I am also widowed. So um, I lost my husband back in 2006. So uh, made me that also has just uh, charged me to be um, be there for my girls because they needed me. So I I uh, you know, like I said, I'm optimistic. Even though we had a bad experience, I'm here now. Um, trying to reach out to other people and help them get through their bad experiences as well. So, yeah, I agree. I am a superwoman. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Just to clear that up. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> language is very, well, I study a lot and I, I always hear that language is very, very important. So we have to be very aware of what we say to ourselves and to others and I'm guilty of it too. I say I say limiting things about myself, but um, luckily I have a partner uh, that uh, holds me accountable. So that's super inspiring to to see someone that's doing this on their own and staying so positive with such good reason to be negative. Like being a widow is I didn't know that. But I knew you were a single mom before, but to be a widow or a widow not just you know someone that got divorced that's even more difficult because then you've got four kids that are grieving and you're trying to do your mm -hmm. own grieving yep, at the exactly. same time. I, I, I admire you your strength so much and I hope one day to be as super as you are Susan that's <laughs> but what Thank it sounds you know. like maybe a little bit is that you were more forced to be that superwoman then it was really maybe something that grew um, out of a desire for it, like me, I just want to be a super, wanted to be a superwoman, and decided to be one. But it, in your situation, you just became one, whether you liked it or not. Right, right. So that's exactly. super inspiring for me. It's, so it's the last question. Oh, go ahead. No, it. Uh, I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> that's okay. 
Um, I was going to say before I became widowed, I was very um, behind the scenes. I didn't get out much. I didn't do a whole lot of anything. Um, and so for me to even do this is, is really, really coming out of my comfort zone. So, um, yeah, like I said, I, I had to do it. I had to be strong for those girls. So. Oh, I can't even imagine. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're doing it with grace. So um, the final, the final part of our well-formed outcome is to talk about what happens, Susan, if you quit. Um, if I quit, then I have. Um, um, I don't want to say I hurt people. Well, that's the right word or not? But I've, I've uh, disappointed them. Maybe. Let's say I. I so when my husband died and I felt like I just wanted to die with him. You know, I, uh, if I were to quit and die with him, then I'd have four girls who'd be, with, who'd be uh, orphans. And I just, you know, that's just not, that's not acceptable, <laughs> you know. And so, and also on that note, I'm taking care of myself so that I live longer for them because there's still, there's three still at home and one in college, so they still need me. It's not like they're out on their own in the world right now. They still need a mother who can nourish them and, and, and teach them, you know, to be the best they can be. So if I quit, then that just would be devastating for them. If I quit the Superwoman boot camp, it would, you know, probably have this, you know, uh, similar effect to the women in the group, you know, um, devastating effects. I mean, they leave you as orphans. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but, yeah, kind of on that note, I would, um, it would not be a good thing. So, um, are you, do you have Facebook open on your computer, too? Um, I did, but... Oh, because <laughs> uh, what I did, cause, cause since we're both new, what I did is I went to um, Layla. If you go into the group, she's got, and you click Photos, just above where you can post, mm -hmm. then you can get questions to ask Janie, because I see she's back. That's what I did anyway, because I'm like, I'm going to forget these questions, but Layla's got them in a picture for me. Oh, I actually printed them out. out. Um, on the hangout. Oh, you printed them. Okay, yeah, well, you're printed ready. Them. You're more I just, I just have screenshots <laughs> and printed them out. So, um, oh, you're more prepared than I am. Yeah, so there. Yeah, I printed out like 12 pages worth here <laughs> from, oh. the hangout, from the hangout oh. itself, yeah, just to put in my notebook. I like to keep it in a notebook all my organized notes, so, <laughs> anyway, um, is Janie, is she, she dropped out again, she, she was back, and then we lost her again, oh, here she comes, Janie, there she is, hello, <laughs> you're back, <laughs> Sorry, I speak French, but I I don't I I didn't I can't hear you. I don't know why it's muted for me. Oh, you can, can hear you us. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Is your volume up? Because I know I had my volume muted one time on a hangout, and I was like, if you oh, want we to can't talk to me, it's better in the chat because I I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. So. Okay. Let's then try see. to again go out. Uh, I'm just sending her a message to check her volume. Okay. And yeah, that's weird. Cause yeah, we can hear her. Yeah. But I know. I know one time I was on a hangout and I was um, talking and going like I can't hear you and I had my computer on mute <laughs> and on the recording you can hear them saying uh, guys if you if you can't hear me I think just like end the hangout and we will do one for me after still can't hear us Janie no no she can't hear us. So I'll just tell her to set up a new one. Okay. Bummer. <laughs> oh well. These things happen, right? Yeah.
Okay. All right. Well, I will. Oh, here she comes. Can you hear us now? She still can hear us. Okay, mm -hmm. I will uh, just end it there. Bye, everybody, and uh, we'll do a part two, and I'll send the link on Facebook for her. So okay. I'll just put another link like before, and we'll click on it, and then... Uh, we're going to start over from the beginning? Hmm? we start over from the beginning, so we have it all yeah, for so you? Yeah, so just go back to ba Facebook, and... No, we don't have to do it again, Do I don't think. We'll talk to her before we go on air, so I'll just set okay. up a new one, see if Sounds she can good. hear us. Okay, perfect. Bye. Bye. <laughs>